folder and if you go and see that in the design view it has the same attributes given to the previous one but when it comes to inline if you are to add another h2 h2 tag and write a contain my name is Achula. and if you go to the design view now you won't get the style that was there in the previous h2 over here do you get my point so if you want you can add a different uh, uh, design a, di a different style so you can now children there is another important lesson in this I'm just going to make another new internal style for two tags that is for h2 you can use the same tag I want h2 and h3 to remain the same values you can always put a comma and use the next h2 h3 and and start with start with your curly brace brackets the open curly brace bracket and the closing curly brace bracket and now you can give what attributes they are going to have so let me just use only a color for for this purpose color to have a line a line color and it's text aligned to be text aligned to be let's say center and end the line remember to end the line with the semicolon and that's all I need now let's go down to our page over here after the paragraph I'm going to use h3 h3 I'm going to write a small contain welcome welcome the paragraph says welcome to my site and the ht h3 heading is going to just welcome you let's go and see how that is in the design view do you see that it is in the center and it has the same color same color let me split it the same co the color that I applied as line and it is in the center now I don't have h2 in my side in my side let me add another h2 here see what happens h2 I'm going to make it welcome to here also and see the different see the characteristics it remains as h1 h2 and h3 has the same characteristics of a color line and the text alignment to center i hope you understood this clearly you can always pause the video pause the video and try doing it at home In this um, the CS grouping selector see how H1 and H2 and P has his own styles you can group them if you want because they all have the same characteristics H12 has center and color H2 also center and color H uh, P also has has aligning to center and red so you can couple them you can bring them and use a comma a comma to separate all its tags and use one common attribute for all that's what I have done it here 
uh, what I have uh, showed you a few minutes ago. Now let me come to my introduction about CSS, how to add CSS. Here when a browser reads the style sheet, it will format the HTML document according to the information in the style sheet. Now you are to learn what is a style sheet, I'll teach you that also. Style sheets comes with, or uh, there are three types of CSS, that is internal CSS, external CSS and inline CSS. External means, I'll just show you how external works. With an external style sheet, you can change the look of the entire website by ch changing just one file, just a one file. Here, I, in, this, in this scenario I have shown you, my web page has three web, my website has three web pages and it has a common CSS sheet where I can go to the common sheet and change one time and then the complete website of these three pages will quickly change. So it's very easy for a, for a, a programmer or a web developer to change its content quickly. If not, if you have thousands of web pages, imagine how hard it will be for you to change all its content one at a time. So here we have a centralized a page, a CSS sheet that can do all these works within no time. So it starts with a link tag and then uh, it is inside the head section. I'll, I'll show you here the doc type link relational style sheets type CSS, href means where is your style sheet located, mystyle.css and then it's simply you can change it within no time. Let me demonstrate that uh, for you uh, in, in my tutorial here. Now common CSS style sheet is over here. Now I have made the body, background, color to be light and the head one, H1, to have a navy color. Now if you look at my two web pages that I have, I have one called default HTML, contact HTML and a common style sheets.css I have here. Now in the common style sheet I have made the body to remain a background color of light blue and H1 to remain its color to navy and the margin to be 20 pixels away from the starting point. Now let me just go as I have told, told you that uh, these references can be derived using a tag called link here link link references style sheet type css href common style sheet let me just show you how it is done you can just type the tag after the title is over link and then you can use its um, reference What do you want? You have a lot of things over here. I want only style sheet, the style sheet, separating with its type, type. What do you want? What kind of TXS, text CSS, and then your href, where you can always pick up the style sheet if you want, if you know. But I'm here in this, I have my copy this and put within here, paste, 
and make sure that you end the line in the line.